Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In my previous lecture, I discuss about operator and some important problem of it. Today I discuss about Schrodinger wave equation and some problem related it. So please see this video very carefully. To describe the wave nature of the particle according to de Broglie hypothesis, Materialistic particles are moving like waves, like matter waves. To describe the behavior of the matter waves, we require a mathematical equation. And that mathematical equation in quantum mechanics is called Schrodinger wave equation. It is a basic law, like Newton's law of motion is fundamental in classical mechanics. So what according to Newtonian mechanics, like if a particle moving like a wave, its mathematical equation is written as del square y by del t square equal to b square into del square y into del x square, where y is the amplitude of the wave and v is the velocity. So this is the equation to which we describe the wave nature of a macroscopic body. This cannot be applied for microscopic body like electron, proton, neutron. Now, what Schrodinger had done that he replaced y by psi, where psi is nothing but the wave function that we discussed in my previous lecture. So, psi sometime independent of time, that means psi is a function of x, y, z, also sometimes psi, psi is depend with time that means psi is equal psi is a function of x y z and d also so del square psi del t square equal to v square del square psi del x square is for one dimensional and for three dimensional del square psi del t square equal to v square into del square del x square plus del square del y square plus del square del z square into psi where del square del x square plus del square del y square plus del square del z square equal to grad square. So, we can write this equation del square psi del t square equal to b square into grad square psi. This is the second order differential equation. Then, the general solution of this equation is psi is equal to psi 0 sin 2 pi by lambda into x so if we calculate then we can get minus h cut square by 2f del square psi del x square plus v psi equal to e psi where v is the potential and one dimensional and for three dimensional minus h cut square by 2m grad square psi plus v psi equal to h psi e psi then if we common this term minus h cut square by 2m grad square plus v psi equal to e psi so so h cut square by 2m grad square plus v which is called h hamiltonian this h equal to minus grad square h cut square by 2m grad square plus v is called hamiltonian operator and also you remember for free moving particle, when potential V is equal to 0, then the Schrodinger wave equation minus h cut square by 2m grad square psi equal to e psi. Now we discuss one important problem related to it. If psi is equal to a to the power minus x to the power 4 is the eigenfunction of a one dimensional Hamiltonian with eigenvalue e is equal to 0. The potential Vx is dash. Given h cut equal to 2m is equal to 1. The answer is 12x square, 16x to the power 6, 16x to the power 6 plus 12x square, 16x to the power 6 minus 12x square. So, here given e is equal to 0 and we calculate Vx that we calculate and also given h cut square equal to 2m is equal to 1 and psi is equal to a e to the power minus x to the power 4. Now, we know Schrodinger wave equation minus h cut square by 2m 
cat square psi plus v psi is equal to e psi here e is equal to 0 and h cut square h cut by 2m is equal to 1 so the equation grad square into psi is equal to so uh, this is for three dimensional and for one dimensional del square psi by del x square so equation minus del square del x square into a e to the power minus x to the power 4 plus b into a e to the power minus x to the power 4 is equal to 0. Now we differentiate it. So del square del x square into e to the power minus x to the power 4 plus b into e to the power minus x to the power 4 is equal to 0. Now if we differentiate first time del del x into minus 4 into x s cube e to the power minus x to the power 4 plus b into e to the power minus x to the power 4 is equal to 0. So if we common this term the equation minus as a plus 4 del del x into x s cube e to the power minus x to the power 4 plus b into e to the power minus x to the power 4 is equal to 0 ok so second time when we differentiate this term so the term is 4 into 3 x square e to the power minus x to the power 4 plus minus 4 into x s cube into x s cube into e to the power minus x to the power 4 plus b into e to the power minus x to the power 4 is equal to 0. So if we common if we multiply 4 means 12 x square minus 16 x to the power 6 e to the power minus x to the power 4 plus b e to the power minus x to the power 4 is equal to 0. So b e to the power minus x to the power 4 not equal to 0. So 12 x square minus 16 x to the power 6 plus b is equal to 0. So b is equal to 16 x to the power 6 minus 12 x square. So correct answer is D. Okay. Now we discuss another important problem which is important for MHC entrance test. So question is consider one dimensional potential oil of with 3 millimeter using sorry 3 nanometer using the uncertainty principle uncertainty principle we know del x del px greater than equal to h cut by 2 which means it is impossible to determine the position and momentum simultaneously so an estimate of the minimum depth of the oil such that it has at least one bound state for an electron is one microelectron volt, one millielectron volt, one electron volt, one mega electron volt that we calculate. So we calculate the energy E is equal to P square by 2M. Now we know uncertainty principle del x del P x equal to h cut by 2. So we want P. So del P equal to h cut by 2 del x. So we can write P is equal to h cut by 2 suppose with is a. With is a so h cut by 2a. So P is equal to h cut means h by 2 pi. So h by 2 pi means 4 pi a. Now we put this value in this equation. So equal to h square h square by 16 pi square a square into 2m means 32 pi square m a square so this is the value of e e is equal to h square by 32 pi square 
m into a square now we calculate this energy so we know for an electron h is equal normally for an electron mass of the electron is m is equal to 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg that we know and h value of h Planck constant that we know 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second then and given a is equal to 3 nanometer means 3 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter so if we put this value then e is equal to h means 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 whole square divided by 32 pi square into m value which is 6 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 into a square means 3 into 10 to the power minus 9 the whole square then if we solve this equation we get 10 nearly equal to 10 to the power minus 3 electron volt that means 1 mega milli electron volt